And we are counting down to the big Fed decision on interest rates next week with some fresh data on the health of the consumer. Steve Leesman is here with the results of our very latest CNBC NRF retail monitor. What are we learning, Steve? You know, after uh, a strong July, uh, uh, the retail monitor showing consumer spending eased back in uh, August, uh, the CNBC NRF retail monitor, uh, with uh, some mixed results coming from each of the sectors. If you look at the uh, individual, uh, if you look at the uh, retail uh, monitor, it towered with actual credit card spending data from uh, Affinity Solutions. We were up 0.5%, uh, that compares with 0.7% in July. Uh, and, and that's right at the one year average for this uh, number here. The series is up 2.1% year over year. Core retail, that takes out restaurants as well increased 0.2% down from a strong uh, 1% in July. In the year over year, they're actually ticking up to 1.9. The sector breakdown was mixed. Uh, seven of 12 sectors were positive. That compared with 10 of 12 in the uh, on the plus side in July. Taking a look, uh, clothing and accessories did well. Uh, restaurants and bars as well also did well, and non-store retailers. But electronics and appliances, uh, building and, and, and uh, garden supplies did not uh, keep pace here. The NRF economist saying in their um, uh, in their commentary that uh, the sectoral trends allow continued softness in consumer durables due to housing softness from uh, still uh, elevated interest rates, but shows consumer spending uh, uh, trending higher in uh, con consumables like uh, food and clothing. Uh, guys, after running uh, basically at trend, uh, the retail monitor settled more down. And it's like a lot of uh, other economic data, Kelly. The issue being um, it's settling down, but where does it finally end up? Does it end up in a place that's worrisome? Or if it goes along this way, well, then the consumer is going to be doing okay. If you had Back come out with that, Steve, just a few days earlier, those who are invested in Dix or Academy, I guess Academy did okay. But what that showed about sporting goods has been con confirmed by earnings. It has been. I will say that the, the sporting goods was a, a strong in July and weak in August. So we've had this up and down pattern. If you look at the long long term chart here, uh, and it's not exactly clear what's motivating it. It could be that you know uh, when you have gas prices come off that the next month uh, some of the discretionary does better. I'm going to watch the discretionary. I think if there's signs of stress in the consumer, it'll show up there first, not in the necessity. So uh, th that's something to watch, Kelly, as time goes by. If we're going to see some stress in the consumer.